Hey, it's me, and today the subject of this video is going to be how to cure parvo and keep your dog from dying. Okay, before I say this, parvo is called parvovirus. Um, a lot of people just shorten it and call it parvo. This is Lil Ma. She was, um, can't hardly see her, but full-bladed, red nose pit. Um, she actually died of parvo. We had her and two other dogs. One is Rocky, one is Red. And um, they're all pit. All They were all six months old when this happened. It's been a couple months. Um, Lil Ma died very quickly because of parvo. We didn't know what it was. It hit so suddenly. Um, she was eating, eating and drinking and, every, and everything, I, you know. Um, anyway, so the next day, I seen that Red was acting kind of like Lil Ma did. Um, he wasn't eating. He was lethargic. He was, um, he, he looked very sad. And that's what I thought it could be at first. But then I noticed that he wasn't eating. And so I kept trying to push him to eat. He, he wouldn't eat. So anyway, what we did... Um, we came up, I looked up everything. I looked up the vet prices. I looked up, um, I called several different vets. Um, they all wanted like a thousand dollars per dog. So we didn't have that. We'll never have that for that. Um, so what I did, I used my research, um, Google, any kind of search engine, whatever. And this is what I came up with. This is my regimen to keep your dog alive and beat parvovirus. Now, uh, what I did, I kind of made a chart. This is like day three. So, actually, day one, <laughs> the chart becomes like you need it up here only. So, um, what you need to do is keep track of the medicines you give them. Keep track of the water. Keep track of Pedialyte. All right. Also, keep track of how many times they puke, how many times they poop. And no matter what, just keep going. It is frustrating, very frustrating, especially when they're throwing up and white foam and they're shitting out worms and there's lots of feces and stuff because they can't make it to where they're trained to. So it's very frustrating. Um, you can't deal with this, you need to go to a vet. But if you're crafty and you are frugal, then this is the method for you. Now, first we started with Pedialyte regular good old Pedialyte electrolyte solution you can also make your own I didn't find this out till later but we went and spent a dollar on some Pedialyte this Dollar Tree Pedialyte so it's exactly one dollar um, please refrigerate it because look what happened this was purple and it's been two months but I kept this stuff just so I could do this review um, the Pedialyte we use this a booger sucker for a baby um, you can get it for like a dollar. Okay, they wouldn't, we did water and Pedialyte separate. We did water and Pedialyte mixed. But, um, it, it wasn't helping as much as we needed it to. Because the big cause of death is dehydration. It's not the parvovirus. It's dehydration. So you must keep them hydrated. Now, next what we did, I used this baby cereal. Oatmeal, non-GMO because I live non-GMO life, and I try to get my dogs to, my family to too. too. Um, either oatmeal or rice. It does have sugar in it. I don't know if you can see that, but check the label yourself. It does have sugar in it, um, but that's okay because they were not eating, so they had to have something. Um, what I did was mix this with some fish oil. any kind of fish oil, as long as it's got nutrients. I use probiotics. These are really high quality, but um, I got them for free to do a review and I had them, I was already taking them. Um, mix that, take the rice and the fish oil and the probiotics, mix it together. Also, this is important, Echinacea. This actually came from the Dollar General 
uh, four or five dollars and um, it's a healing herb it prevents infections it's antifungal um, and the biggest thing colloidal silver you can get this this one is about $21 it's the highest strength available um, this is gonna be the most expensive ticket to save your dog's life but compared to vet bills um, you go ahead and buy the big one even if you got more than one dog a whole bottle will do you but you just add like Google the dose for your dog Google everything now whenever they were able because this is what we use for solid foods this is a flavor injector it does it usually has a needle right here we took the needle off um, and this is both parts of it and you literally can suck this it's kind of basically like this but easier you literally suck the food up don't pull too hard like I did but you suck the food up into it and then force feed your dog they will throw up um, and feces will be everywhere for about four or five days and it probably will have worms in it because um, uh, worms and parvo go hand in hand a lot of times um, whenever they could keep solid foods down what we did we used good old potatoes as the base instead of the oatmeal or the rice we used potatoes um, everything else we actually you know with the um, just keeping track of it keeping the house clean um, clean up all those bacterial messes that is very important um, you don't want bugs you don't want pests and stuff and that's what it draws um, you don't want infection yourself so when you're cleaning use gloves you get all of this stuff um, most of this stuff you can find for a dollar really Dollar Tree everything's a dollar there um, the probiotics I don't know if they have them at the dollar store they won't have this kind but do what you need to do to save your dog's life other than that, if I forgot anything, then I will list it in the description. If you need uh, more information, I'll put my email in the description. You can email me, but no spam. Um, also, if I help you save your dog's life, or if I can help you save your dog's life, then please make a donation. I'll also put my PayPal.me account. So you can donate. Um, I do not monetize my ads anymore because YouTube plays games sometimes with some people. So um, if you could donate, that will help me. Um, like I said, I, I just saved you like a thousand dollars dog, <laughs> and all you gotta spend is about fifty dollars to you know each each dog. Maybe not even fifty dollars each dog, but if you need some help or something with this. Um, the email link will be in the description. The donate link will be in the description. Um, if anything else has worked for you, comment. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please share on social media. Um, this is a cure for Parvo. Um, I'm actually going to pause the video. And we're going to go show you the other dogs that I cured. With all these natural remedies. So just give me a second. And you'll see some puppies in a minute. All right, so this one, who are you? This is red. See his face, look red, look, look red. And this is, this is red right here. And this is Rocky. And two months ago, they were literally dying of Parvo. Um, we brought them back from the light. They are now outside, they were puppies. They are now outside and they're good boys. And they don't have parvo anymore, or they beat the parvo virus rather than because it is a virus and it does stay with you forever, but it makes your immune system stronger. Um, also, this is another parvo susceptible um, species. This is a German Shepherd. This one is black. He's a big baby. Look black. Good boy. All right. And come here, blue. Come here, Blue. Blue. 
move Rocky. And this is blue. Same thing, same thing. And he's a good boy too. But um, part about certain certain species, <laughs> let me finish the video. Certain species are susceptible to parvo. So um, keep your dog's immune system strong. Colloidal silver, that's actually what it does. Um, I would recommend that ongoing, not just for parvo treatment. But thanks for watching. And like I said, like, share, subscribe, share on social media, donate. Email me if you have questions. Thanks for watching.